Okay, class. Today our lesson is we will determine. Yeah? We will determine the angle when the value of sin cos tangent are given. Yeah, for example, like this lah. Sin theta is zero point six one five seven. And then we have to calculate the angle and the range is from 0 to 360 yeah so this one you have to consider all the quadrant not only the first quadrant so how to do it you have to there are steps lah, yeah there are steps so the first step is you identify you identify the quadrant first based on the positive or negative sign uh, on the value here so your this is your uh, the value so you have to check whether it's positive or negative so in this case it's uh, positive for b it's negative yeah and c also it's negative and then next you will determine the corresponding reference angle this is no problem huh? you just uh, you can find it first using the calculator and then after that we draw yeah and the third one uh, you can calculate the angle, yeah, the angle theta. So, if you still remember, corresponding angle, we have a symbol. Uh, it is alpha and the angle is theta. So, yang, the one that you want to calculate. Okay, so we start with this one. Um, A, yeah. we start with A. Okay, first remember you have to identify yeah, which quadrant. So, if you see here, the, the sign here is actually positive. Lah. It's not written, but we know it's positive. So, for positive, you, you have to draw your quadrant. Lah. And you remember your add sugar to coffee. Yeah? So, sin positive is in the first quadrant. And also on the second quadrant. Yeah. So, first and second quadrant, it is positive. Okay, next is you want to find the uh, corresponding reference angle. So, how to find it? Very easy. You just uh, use your calculator. Theta is the inverse of your sin 0 0.6157. And you will get your theta is uh, 38, yeah, 38 degree. Okay, this is your corresponding reference angle. If you if you draw it, okay, this is actually the 38 degree, yeah, the 38 degree. And it is right, yeah, the theta is for 38 is correct, but because you want in all the quadrant, right? 0 to 360 so the next one is on the <coughs> second quadrant so for second quadrant second this is second quadrant right <coughs> so second quadrant how to draw it um, it is like this this is the angle the theta that you want to find eh? it is on the second quadrant but before you can find theta you must uh, write the what the reference uh, corresponding reference angle first yeah that you got here from your calculator it is if it is in the second quadrant your corresponding reference angle will be here uh, this one we have learned before yeah it should be here When you know your, your, this is your alpha, right? Here. So, your theta, very easy already. Your theta is, want to find this angle. So, answer is 180, just minus 38 degree. So, you'll get your theta is 142 degree. So, you can say that your theta is... 38 degree or 142 degree. Yeah, this is the answer. Okay, now we go to we go to uh, the second uh, B B. Yeah. So first, you have to see. Yeah, this one is negative. If it is negative, 
your add sugar to coffee your cos negative is where here cos positive huh? you want it negative so it is on the second quadrant and also it is on the second quadrant and third quadrant because here tangent huh? tangent is positive so your reference angle remember ah, this is your this is your alpha and for third quadrant this is your alpha you want to find your theta your theta will be your theta i use different color lah. your theta will be yeah this one uh, and then the other one your theta will be here uh. <laughs> okay so now you know it is on the uh, second and third quadrant huh? okay. so first next is you find your theta lah. yeah your corresponding reference angle actually you want to find your alpha yeah your corresponding reference angle use calculator cos inverse 0 0.4226 ah, i don't have to to put the negative sign this only show which quadrant it is so you'll get your theta is 65 your theta is 65 degree okay so when you know your theta is 65 degree you want to find now you want to find uh, your your theta right where cos is negative so we have to draw this huh? we have to draw your quadrant so remember it is on the uh, second second quadrant that your cos is negative so this is the the theta that you want to find and your reference angle is the one that you got from your calculator 65 so from here you can find your theta is 180 minus with 65 degree so theta is 115 degree okay so this is the first one the answer the next one is because it is on the um, third quadrant so we draw we draw this is the third quadrant where cos is negative so the angle is here this is the theta that you want to find and your your reference angle should be here ah this is your reference angle reference corresponding angle that is the 65 don't put here here is not yeah because reference angle corresponding angle always from the x axis huh? this is your x this is your y y axis so no huh? never take this one okay so now um the, you want to find this angle ah this angle so how to do how to get it you know that here already 65 uh, so your theta is 180 you have to plus lah, your 65 degree so your theta is 2 4 five degree yeah so you can say that your th your theta your theta is this one 115 degree or this one 245 degree okay okay next question for your c for your c it is tangent theta negative 1.4826 
Okay, when this is negative, where should it be? Add sugar to coffee. Tangent negative is here and here. Right? Mm. So your the, the angle should be here and your reference angle should be here. Yeah, your alpha. And then if it is uh, on the so it is on the second quadrant ah? second quadrant and fourth quadrant a fourth quadrant uh, fourth quadrant uh, sorry fourth quadrant e, your angle will be here your angle should be here and angle should be ah like this so your reference angle will be here. So you want to find this theta, right? Okay, we go step by step. Huh? So for quadrant, for quadrant, we we write it like this. Huh? For quadrant two, we do quadrant two first. Huh? Huh? Not to, con to get confused. Okay. So we draw. We draw for quadrant two. The angle that you want to find is this one. And this is your uh, corresponding reference angle. How to find it? Theta is from here. Tangent, the inverse of tangent. Ah, 1.4826. So you get your theta is 56. 56 degree. Okay, so this is your 56. Ah, your reference corresponding angle. So from here, you know your theta is this one, your theta is 180 minus 56. So, you'll get uh, your theta. Your theta is 124 degree. So, this is the first one. So, second one. Second one is, you know, just now it is on the fourth quadrant, right? Fourth quadrant. So, quadrant number four so you draw your 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 quadrant so if on the fourth quadrant the angle will be here yeah and your corresponding reference angle will be here what is it just now where is it it is 50 it is 56 huh? 56 so this is 56 degree so your theta is what you don't want to include 56 uh, theta is this one so 360 you minus with your 50 uh, yeah. uh, 56 degree so you get your theta is 304 so you can conclude that your theta is um, just now you got it 124 or 304 okay so easy yeah huh? where first step find uh, identify the quadrant which quadrant number two find the corresponding reference angle yeah and third one you can find the angle lah, theta it's very uh, step by step very easy yeah okay thank you